You will recall that in modules 3.9 and 3.10, we started working with the idea of a program called Shape Tracer, which we were using as a way to kind of get inputs from the, uh, from the user and create shapes of different sizes, right? So if I run this program, uh, it says how many sides are on my shape, and I might say six, and it draws a hexagon for me. But if I run it again, and it says how many sides are on my shape, and I say three, come on, then it draws a triangle for me and so on. And, and so we, we were playing with this idea in uh, module three when we were playing with variables and getting text from the user and that, that made a lot of sense then. Well now that we've seen the idea of build your own blocks and creating functions, you can imagine creating blocks that look something like, like these, right? I want to create a block that builds a polygon of any number of sides. Right, so instead, I could make a hexagon, I could make a triangle, I could make a square, no problem. And I could even expand this by allowing it to have different lengths on each side. Let me run this program to begin with because it's kind of a neat feature. Right, This is going to make a hexagon followed by a square followed by a triangle, all of sides 100. And so when I run this program, we get this really nifty little uh, you know, kind of pattern of a hexagon and a square of a triangle. And since they all have the same length, they all share this same, well, it's not a base, I guess. It's the top, right? But but the same idea. But, of course, I could change this to whatever. I could change this to uh, a hexagon of size 100 and a square of size 150 and then a triangle of size 200. I don't even know what this is going to look like. Let's find out, right? And so I can get different, you know, I can use this one block that I have created, this one function, to create a polygon of any number of sides and any number of, any length of sides. And that's your next task I'd like you to try on your own for a few minutes. See if you can create this block. Play with the features in, uh, the, the options when you create a block to build a block that looks like this. In its, in its construction, its creation, and then define the code that would go in that block. Refer back to 3.9 and 3.10 if you want to, in, in that general area, if you want to refer to what the, the mathematics was for this. But see what you can do. It doesn't have to be perfect, but see what you can do. And then the next video, I'll show you how I created this block.